Hello everyone and welcome back to JCB Pioneer Mars, a game where uh, we are colonizing the Red Planet using a futuristic JCB equipment. And today I would really like to build something cool. Uh, we still have two uh, missions available in the uh, trade post over there. But uh, I would really like, if that's not a part of any of those missions, to build at least the storage or um, the uh, landing pad. That would be, that would be the best. And uh, maybe do a little bit of um, upgrades to our... Uh, JMC X18, I finally remembered how this vehicle is called. And if we are really lucky and get enough money, then uh, maybe buy one of those bigger trucks. So, let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this, to be honest. Let's see what kind of missions do we have in the trade post. Compounds and refining, let's see. Basic building materials can only take you so far. You need to create more advanced materials, obviously. Okay, let's go. Let's go and do that. So we need to build a refinery. All right, so that should be somewhere here, if I remember correctly. Basic refinery level one. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, check this out, how big it is. Uh, we can rotate those buildings. Uh, using Q and D keys and I think that would be a, not a bad idea to do so and I, I see that there are multiple attachment points as well where shall we place it maybe here behind the the garage that would be that would be great I think like so doesn't that look awesome just tell me it doesn't oh you can't because it does look awesome Okay, I suppose we'll need quite a lot of resources actually to get this thing up and running. But um, this is still not active. Unfortunately, because I'm, I'm really, <laughs> I could really use a coffee. <laughs> okay, where did I park our vehicle? I think in the garage maybe. As you can see, we have a really nice uh, Martian weather. Very clear sky, no dust devils, no dust storms, no anything really. So that's great, means some um, less damage. Although I have a lingering suspicion that <laughs> this is actually procedural and detects where we are. Although, maybe, we have quite a lot of research points. So maybe before we go anywhere, actually, let's see if we can upgrade our JMC X18 a little bit. Like with bigger cargo hold that would be <laughs> that would be that would be brilliant let's do that okay so we have this and then we can have multiple different paths that we can choose so this will probably increase the um battery capacity is that correct yes it, it is this thing will increase the uh cargo capacity a little bit but uh, some corrosive shielding and uh it's mining faster this one is basically more sturdy probably so what should we pick surely we, we need to buy this first so let's do that and i don't i'm actually i'm, I'm torn because this one's basically increasing the uh, resistivity and the range of that uh, JMC. And uh, I suppose um, if anything what that nice lady told us in the beginning is true, then we can pick only one option. So we can... Hmm. So we have like a little bit of corrosive shielding with this one. And... Uh, This one, just temperature shielding. We can't tell what those one does. Here, it's more like a scout oriented, I suppose. More shields, more battery. Although, I must say that uh, exploration, as cool as it is, is not what we need right now. We'll have to build a, uh, or buy a dedicated vehicle to do that. So, um... So if I rem if I understand this correctly, we have like three options: miner, which is this one; exploration, which is this one; and uh, dangerous assignments, which is this one. I would say that we need a lot of resources right now, so let's go for that one. Ooh, this is not over. 
<laughs> awesome. Let's buy that. And now the question is, can I... I can't pick this up. Yeah, obviously I can't. And then 15,000 research points. Not today. <laughs> Not today. We don't have that much. Okay. How much oxygen do we have? Five canisters. Quite a lot indeed. So let's go into our amazing vehicle. 10 magnesium, 15 iron, 20 aluminum, 10 copper. I'm pretty happy that we've upgraded the cargo hold, I must say. Okay, so we have some zinc and some copper. So let's take that. I've already bumped into the hub unit. Awesome. <laughs> oh my god, I need to work on my driving, otherwise we'll, we'll, uh, that will not get us far. Okay, so we need aluminium. Yes. Iron, seven, great, and some copper. We need, co we have still, we still have cobalt and carbon that we don't need, and that would be great if we can store it, like maybe in the garage. Can we store it in the garage? No, I don't think we can. Okay, so let's store those excess materials in the hub unit because I <laughs> like how it's drifting. <laughs> so cool. Let's store that here, hopefully. Yeah, as you can see, it's almost full now. Okay, so we have a bunch of those. Um, oh, we found two new resource pools. So we have a bunch of those um, resource pools indicated on our hut. Oh, whoa, whoa, slow down. On our hut there. And... Um, I think we, we've we never been over there, so let's go over there. I'm pretty curious what it is. I like this rock formation. It resembles a bridge. So let's see. Okay, dust storm is coming. I must say that one thing that I found particularly interesting is that... Um, when uh, I was playing during one of those early crashes, when I wanted to basically bring the game back to the point where we started, I found... Oh, look, another broken satellite. Isn't that the same? It looks pretty much like the same model. Although, no. Or maybe it is. Yeah, it is. And interestingly... Check this out. It's considered a crate, which means that we can... We can take stuff from it. Let's see. Open satellite. Copper wire. Sanitation tablets, circuit board, antiseptic regulator, simple plastic. Those things apparently are things are the things that we um, will need to create using the refinery or the crafting station, which is uh, something I suppose that we'll do in the future. Uh, corrosive zone. Okay. Where is that corrosive zone? I can't see it. Well, check this out. This is pretty. That's a nice view. I like it. I must say I'm... Oh, it's over there. Okay. Right where we need to go. Great. Some meteors. I must say I really do like how the Martian environment is... is, is, um, is modeled here. I... Uh, I really do enjoy it. Okay, so we are like um, corrosive zone shielding active. That is pretty interesting. Although, where do I go to actually get to that area where I need to mine this stuff? It looks like it's right over there. Hmm. I don't know. Let's face it, I have absolutely no idea where to go now. This doesn't look particularly inviting. Did you see that jump? <laughs> that was something. That was really nice. Um, hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, maybe... Maybe let's try level 3 corrosive zone. Maybe let's try traversing that area nevertheless and see if... Uh, if we just go around, maybe? 
like over there. That's radiation. And meteors. Whoops. It's looking dangerous, I must say. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is pretty intense. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna drive through that. And uh, that resource pool is right over here. How am I supposed to get to that? Okay, let's let's see if we can drive through it. Okay, the shielding's active, so at least it's um. <laughs> that was hard. I must say that was something unexpected. Okay, iron magnesium. Let's see. I think we'll have to dump some iron. Pretty dangerous mining operations here on Mars. Whoa, did you did you see that? That landed direct almost a direct hit. Okay, so we have iron now. All we need is magnesium. I did improve the mining, right? So we are getting yeah, a bit more than before. So that is great. Who can reach that location? Okay, so let's let's mine over there. Okay, we still need a little bit of magnesium. And then we just need to go back home. Okay, we're done. How do I go back? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. I mean, we can always go back the same way we came, although I... Uh, I really would like to find it like a safer path. Because this... This is not safe. I <laughs> like how it drives. <laughs> okay, we need to avoid that radiation zone because we have absolutely no shielding against that. And uh, corrosive corrosives are less probably less dangerous right now. Okay. <laughs> I must say those meteor showers are pretty intense. I like how it's uh, how it challenges you not to drive into those. Corrosive zone shielding active. Does that mean, like, um... Does that mean that it needs to recharge or something? Interesting. Okay. Crate found. Okay, so it's finding the same crates over and over again. Well, like, I'm not complaining, it's just that uh, I really would uh, like it. If we had like a little bit more uh, in-depth uh, analysis of what is new and what's not. Okay. Now this looks pretty cool. Okay, um, 3D printer. Up. Iron. There you go. And magnesium. There you go. So now we need copper and aluminum and we have like quite a lot of iron. Um, that is probably actually in the way of what we uh, what we need. So hopefully we won't need to dump it. Although it might be that we will be forced to. Okay, let's see. So the uh, copper and aluminium is right over there. Although I do remember that there were other resource pools where we could mine that. But that area over there is pretty interesting as well. So let's go. Let's go that way. I like it. This is coming. There are geysers over there. Check this out. Pretty cool. Let's uh, get the lights running as well because it's getting dark. Or it's just me. I think it is getting a bit darker. Yeah, absolutely. I can see the stars. Wait, wait, wait. This is not a star. 
<laughs> it's a battle station. <laughs> no, honestly, like this thing over there, right there. I think it's not a star. It's actually a moon. It'll be Phobos, probably. Although, I know that Phobos is really, really small. So, could you actually see it with a naked eye from the surface of Mars? And... Um, um, be able to tell that it's a, it's, a, it's a rock and not a star. I have no idea. I have no idea. It would be actually cool to, to figure this out. So maybe we'll do it in another video. Okay, so we're close to our um, resource pool over there. Which is um, aluminium and pure, pure copper. Although, copper is not exactly abundant over here. So, my hopes are not exactly very high that we'll get copper from this particular location. Yeah, I don't think that we will. It's like 2% only. Uh, no resources at this location. How is that possible? Okay, one more scoop and I think we're done. So right now we're mining like five, right? And before it was three. So it is actually upgraded. Okay. So copper's done. And, uh, no, aluminium's done. So where do I find copper? I mean, I do remember that there were resource veins uh, somewhere nearby that definitely had copper. But uh, I would really like if we can look it up on the map or something like that. That would be that would be very useful. I think we'll try doing that just that when we deliver the aluminium. Aluminium. Okay. I like this mountain over there. I wonder if if we could actually climb it at some point. Look, our um, health has increased. Like the maximum right now is 120%. For some reason, I'm already down to 1100. No, uh, 111. <laughs> 1100. That would be that would be sweet. Uh, right, let's see, aluminium, there you go. Okay, and now copper. And copper is not visible on the map, which means that we'll have to figure it out on our own. And uh, how do I do that exactly? Let's stop our truck. No. Okay, here is the uh, map. Mm hmm. Does not tell us. Oh, it does tell us. Watch, what's this? Mining. Okay. Pure iron, pure copper, pure nickel. What's the difference between the regular one and the pure one? I actually don't know. Copper, aluminium, zinc. Zinc, silica, silica, nickel, aluminium, carbon. So the only vein where there is copper is that one. That, that one is a little bit too far away. Although we have been that to that one. I remember that we've been to the, the vein that had only carbon in it. Alright, alright. So which one shall we pick? Not this one, not this one. I think that's the only option, actually. Can I pick, like, the waypoint over there? Yeah, I, I suppose that should work. Waypoint updated. So you see, that's the shining light. <laughs> okay, so I suppose I should be firing that scan much more often, actually, to get all those resource pools on our map because otherwise otherwise we'll never know like there should be much more than just the ones that we found so far 
I'm pretty sure that uh, those were not all. Whoa, no, 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 I'm not driving to you, my friend. That is going to be a very bad idea. Okay, I don't need that. All I need is the resource pool which is nearby. Which is where, exactly? Let's, let's try that again then. Okay. Okay, I see um, I wasn't preci precise enough and then... And now we have a problem. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's fix that right now. Can we climb this? Yep. We can. Okay, let's mine our copper and get the factory up and running. And then the next thing is going to be the storage area. <laughs> because otherwise I'm just not getting all those waste resources. That would, that would be the worst thing that you could possibly do in a, uh, on the surface of a different planet. Just to throw stuff away. Like you bait. Like you absolutely need everything. Yep. Your cargo hold is full. That's, uh, that is something I was quite uh, afraid will happen. So what is it that we don't need? Iron? I don't know. Let's, let's, let's throw away some iron then. Maybe let's throw away like seven and see, see if that will help us. One copper, three of them and one zinc. I need more copper, come on. It's full again. Oh, damn it. Uh, let's throw away some... Okay, so we need two more copper. Let's throw away some aluminum maybe this time. Like four. And again. And again, a bit more iron. Or no. Or maybe not. The UI is quite, actually quite buggy and sometimes does not let you drive things. Oh my god. Okay, let's throw away six iron this time. <laughs> and I'm sure that we have to be very unlucky not to get uh, two copper out of six <laughs> different resources. There we go. Done. Let's go to the 3D printer and build this baby. So, the refinery. I'm actually pretty curious what it does. Another thing that I would really like to build are uh, solar panels. That would be interesting. I mean, we surely need more power than this. This is not enough. Okay, copper. There you go. Let's see. Printing process. Or, as it might be the case, the animation is not in place. Refined iron, refined copper, refined aluminum, refined aluminium alloy. Okay. Whatever that means. <laughs> no idea. Although it does sound cool. I wonder though. I wonder if what we can do. Now check this out. If we go out. Okay. If we go out, can we climb this? Building inactive. Can we go upstairs and see what's over there? Oh, we can. That's that's nice. That's pretty dope. Although I don't really see why you would want to climb it, but you can. 
and it's looking pretty nice. <laughs> is it is it a switch or just a window? I don't know. And what's what's here? Hmm. Doesn't look like you can enter it from any side. Not that I'm complaining, but uh, could be a nice addition. Okay. Definitely what we need to do right now is connect this building to the power grid so it's actually powered. So let's do it now. Because why not? Compounds and refining completed. Cool. Very cool. So, solar panels are closed now because it's night, obviously. So, let's see. Great. How much? Wow. 18,000 research points, quite a lot of experience, and uh, 15,000 credits. Great. Okay. Now to plug this thing in. Hmm, what's this? Okay, so this is how much electricity we are producing and how much electricity we are using. Okay. We have uh, much more water than we need, much more oxygen than we need. Waste does not say. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please consider liking this video. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would like to thank Sharax and all my other patrons on Patreon. Your continuous support means very much to me. My name is Mark Frim and I will see you next time.